Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly reading for Scorpio. How are you guys this week, Scorpio? See what's happening with you. General read, any aspect of your life, take it how it best resonates. Your love life, family, friends. Oop, that wants to come out. Okay. Yeah, someone needs to let go of this uh, negative energy of that cup half uh, empty. Okay, so it's about releasing it. It doesn't serve. Okay, focusing on the negative. So someone needs to kind of let go of that. It doesn't serve. So, yeah, nice. Yeah, we have a king of pentacles. Oh, it could be this person. Okay, or you could have negative feelings about this person, Scorpio. <laughs> yeah, it's an energy of somebody here, I feel, who... Uh, just kind of has that energy or you feel that way about this person for some reason. See, it's about uh, finding that inner balance. Okay, uh, It's about releasing all this negativity, taking a little break. Some of you could be on a break from someone here. So, yeah, but I feel it's an energy of letting go of this negativity. Now, it could be this person who is in that energy, but it very well could be your own feelings regarding this person. So we have the magician. Yeah, it's an energy of manifesting. Someone here has all the tools they need, everything they need to know to uh, clear this energy out. So some of you could be on a break. Maybe there was some kind of manipulation or something here where you've got this negative energy. But if it isn't yourself, it's this person. Yeah, I do see the energy of manifesting something new. Maybe just taking a break. It's an energy of feeling very positive, high vibrational. Somebody here could be a little on that low vibrational side. But like I say, it's looking at the bright side. Yeah, some of you, it's just a matter of clearing this out and healing uh, from this. Because it is saying you have the power to manifest some, something new. Now, this could be to do with work. <laughs> okay, it could be a boss or anyone, but like I say, it could be a an ex or uh, someone you've been dealing with. Yeah, so I do see this energy of feeling a little bit drained. It is draining. So this could be some, some sort of rejection or someone didn't get what they wanted. But I do see a missed opportunity. So if you don't release this negative energy, whether you want to start new with this person or it has to do with them, you know, you could miss other opportunities. So, But I kind of feel it's someone here who feels like there's not a lot of hope. Now, it has to do with self-respect, self-worth as well. So there may have been some a lack of respect or something here. Yeah, so I do see change and change for the better. Yeah, see, by releasing this, just letting it go. Beautiful. So this is the energy of healing. Endings that leads to new beginnings. So if there has been some kind of ending, it's saying to just let it go, Scorpio. Okay. I do see a little Aquarius, some Gemini. Yeah. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, some Leo energy here and some Libra. So a lot of air energy here, even with that four of swords. It's an energy of someone who gets pinned down by their thoughts. Now, this negativity, I mean, it could be this person where it's no longer serving them because maybe they've missed an opportunity with yourself. But I do see some of you possibly thanks, but no thanks moving on. Okay, but be careful you don't take this energy, if it is yourself, into something new. Release it. Okay, it's about release and new. So, yeah, it's an energy of, sit, you know, uh, needing to release situations or people that hold you back. So there it is. See a reflection, leaving it behind, going down a new path. So let me just fix this camera. Why it does that all by itself. There we go. So let's dig into this and see what's happened. So this is a pretty direct message, but it is right in the heart of the reading. Now it could have to do with communication, some kind of manipulation, but I mean, it's an energy of manifesting something new. Okay. Yeah, but don't miss other opportunities by taking this into another relationship. So let's have a look. Yeah, see, it's an energy of thinking things through. What's happened here is somebody got pinned down by their thoughts. Now, they rushed into a situation, backed out, or changed their mind. So, you know, it's an energy of the one that got away. It's somebody who probably didn't want you to get away. But like I say, it's about thinking things through, choosing your battles. Yeah, is this something not worth fighting for and not worth constantly thinking about? So let's have a look. Yeah, we have a single person, somebody knowing their worth and value. So this is an energy of self-respect, self-worth, 
how it's all about how you feel about yourself too but if there was an energy of someone who i mean it's often a person who just kind of wants to be single okay um, so some of you may be feeling like there's no hope or it could be very well this person feeling there's no hope here uh, cup half empty so i kind of feel like it's this person so uh, they've missed an opportunity let's have a look but yeah you can flip this who is this king of pentacles somebody enjoying the fruits of their labor see it has to do with uh, self-worth okay um, self-respect so there's something that may have happened there yeah so it's definitely there's an energy of something being exposed it's an energy of someone who wants to start something new uh, but it's about choosing those battles see something that's not worth focused on i feel this is someone who may have been focused on something from the past that didn't go well yeah, yeah. but i do see the sun shining happiness and joy so I mean, if it is yourself and you just kind of feel like there's not a lot of hope to find somebody new or to start something new, like I say, it's negative. It's an energy of the thoughts that pin you down, that hold you back, that make you miss opportunity. See a fresh new start, a new opportunity. Very nice. Yeah, very, very nice energy. Let's have a look at the magician. Who is this? Yeah, so it has to do with some kind of communication, of course. It's the magician. It's Mercury energy. So it has to do with some sort of manipulation, something someone said. Uh, but I do feel this is somebody who's going to possibly come towards you, okay? Yeah, someone here wants to start something new. It does look like maybe they have released this. It has to do with taking a risk, a new start, pushing through the fear. So there's a little fear of rejection here as well. Let's have a look at the sun. Why is this here? Yeah, see, it's an energy of someone wants to start new. See, missing an opportunity. So some of you, it definitely says, you know, you could miss an opportunity if you're the person who uh, has this negative thinking about this person. So it's an energy of just taking time to heal. If you are on a break from this person, it is possible someone may have started something new. Yeah. But like I say, it's a missed opportunity or somebody here just emotionally drained. And we have a person, see, looking back, feeling beat up, feeling like giving up. See, it's about putting it behind, leaving it in the past where it belongs, having a fresh new start. Some of you actually could have multiple opportunities here. Okay, You may be rejecting other people, and it actually could be this person. I really feel it has a lot to do with them. Okay, They, got, they have opportunities likely coming in. Nobody's good enough. See, this is someone who's re probably rejecting other people. It's an energy of having to put this behind. Yeah, feeling like giving up. Someone here definitely feels like giving up, like they're going to be single forever. Okay, so it's really a change of mind, change of that mindset. Yeah, see, it's an energy of someone keeping someone stuck. See, it could be a person who keeps coming back around, keeping you stuck, keeping you single. That, like I say, flip it. I do feel it's possibly this this person. They're holding on, protecting their money or something too here. You know, there's other things they need to let go of. Missing opportunities. I, I And if, if it is this person and they want to start new, they may be looking to see if you've started something new. Okay. Yeah, there's definitely that little bit with the dream or the fear of rejection. They need to let go of that. Yeah, it's not serving. Yeah, see, it's an energy of someone not reciprocating, uh, wanting to reach out, the other person not feeling the same after a period of time. Now, with the star here in this, it is possible there's some kind of mutual energy here where you both feel the same. I got to be honest here, yeah. But I feel it's someone who doesn't want to be single, maybe acts like they do because of rejection or opportunities they've missed in the past that they're still focused on see the cups that are spilled and not the connection right in front of them let's have a look at the dreamer why is this here for scorpio very clear reading for you today the sun's out twice <laughs> yeah nice see trust issues taking a this is somebody here now it could be someone who is playing little mind games so there's some trust issues so but it's an energy of someone, um, it has to do with resonating, taking the things that resonate, the things that are known to be true, leaving the rest behind. This, somebody here wanted to win. They were determined to win here. Because this is an energy of someone who kind of goes about things in a deceptive way. See, they didn't want you to get away. 
they came in, communicated, but there was some kind of manipulation. So maybe you rejected them or maybe they felt that way about yourself. Mind games, manipulation, but it really all adds up to a lot of confusion. See where it starts to become complicated, but it's about pushing through the fear. Okay, so there's trust issues, likely from another situation. Yeah, see the manifesting. See, this is confusion, illusion, secrets. This person could have some kind of secret, but to me it just looks, you know, it's an energy where there's confusion. It becomes complicated, you know, um, some sort of, of manipulation here, mind games. Somebody you wanted to win, but they went about things the wrong way. So there was some deception here. So it's an energy of releasing all this energy, releasing those trust issues because it doesn't serve. Okay, it doesn't serve. And it has to do with that high vibrational energy, not that negative energy. So it is possible. Yeah, see, it's an energy of two people manifesting each other, but there's trust issues. See, this person's not so sure. Now it's possible this is somebody who is being selfish or stubborn, refusing to budge. They weren't reciprocating uh, something here. Okay. Yeah, they're not giving you enough attention, paying, you know, enough time, energy, uh, tossing breadcrumbs, tossing hints, playing a little game. So there was a lack of clarity in the communication. It's also an often a person who, you know, they're living in the moment. They come in, they, you know, that playful, youthful kind of energy, kind of flirty where they come in too fast, too strong. They come in out of the blue. So something happened with that. It's all about the communication. So let's have a look at the Eight of Wands. Yeah, see, this is someone who got up in their head, they, you know, analyzing, overanalyzing a situation, the thoughts that pinned them down. So it was a strategy. This is likely, you know, it's often a person who, I mean, it's a fear of rejection, but I do think this is someone thinking. See, it has to do with, um, this is where they they rush in, they're decisive, and then they back out and change their mind. See, they change their mind. And, and I feel it may have even been a strategy here. But obviously it didn't work because they never got what they wanted. In fact, they missed an opportunity. So, And you may have rejected this person too. They may have offered you this cup, but you may have rejected them because of this. But I feel it's an energy of trust. Uh, between two people see it's about seeing eye to eye sharing your innermost selves your innermost secrets there's definitely an energy of needing to talk needing to communicate to connect on that emotional level this is someone who con sometimes comes across as a little cold judgmental okay that's what i feel here but it is someone who did has not put something behind so they're protective. They're keeping themselves stuck and more than likely yourself too if there's someone who keeps coming back around. See the rejection, tossing breadcrumbs, hints, hoping to get what they want. Tell me more about the King of Swords energy. Yeah, they have some air, a lot of air. Yeah, see it's someone who comes in, pushes someone away. They don't want to let their guard down. They're protecting their money, everything they've worked for because I do feel they're enjoying the fruits of their labor. But I don't think this person really wants to be single. They may have convinced themselves they do. But anybody who keeps coming back around, they want something. <laughs> but I think a lot of it's pushing through the fear that you may not feel the same. Okay, That's what a lot of it is. This is a person who often keeps things close to their chest. But I feel it has to do with, you know, maybe yourself, if they come back around not budging and giving in, not settling for breadcrumbs. Yeah, see, somebody waiting. See, waiting for someone to reciprocate, waiting for them to communicate. Someone who keeps you waiting. But I feel there, it's an energy of nobody budging, nobody moving. So, like I say, there's trust issues, but a lot of it is frustration, too. Somebody's frustrated. It has to do with the fear of rejection. Um, they may have some kind of secret. Okay, uh, things uh, they're keeping to themselves. But I really feel it just all becomes very confusing where even yourself here with the dreamer, a little Aries energy, looking at this, leaving it in the past. So some of you are leaving this in the past. You may actually start something new. And if they do come back in, it is possible. And it does look like it's already happened where thank you, but no thank you because of that. Yeah, see, and this is what happens. Nobody gets what they want. 
See, so it's a need for something to be cleared up, being something needs to be exposed. It's about exposing those feelings, being vulnerable. You know, the fe the fear of being manipulated. Yeah, you know, trust, you know, frustration. But it's a person who went about something in the wrong way. It was a strategy. See, if they come in, you offer something, you know, counter offer whatever's happened and then they push you away. Now, it is possible you could be pushing this person away because you know, you're in protective mode, especially if they've already done it to yourself, because that's what it's looking like here. Guarded defensive. See, it's an energy of tearing down the walls. You see, tearing down those walls. And that has to do with this the way someone communicates. Yeah, see, maybe you stood up for yourself. I mean, it could go either way, but I feel it's kind of gone both ways because the Four of Cups is here twice. See, this is someone who needs to put something behind. But I do feel it's when you're just about ready to give up, you're ready to move on, you're looking elsewhere, they come in. But then they, they have that same energy. And I don't think you're going to budge too much here. So I really feel like, yeah, see, chaos, conflict, drama, competition. You see, creating drama. So I don't know if this is someone who will ever change. You know, I do feel that they want to. I do get this vibe they want to because it's just, like I say, somebody, it always ends the same, I feel, or it, you know, waiting. And then all that I see here is chaos, conflict, and drama. So, yeah, competitive. You know, I feel like you're not competing. There Maybe there's competition, but it could be them too. Fear of taking a leap of faith, uh, reaching out to you. Uh, thinking that there may now be competition. So this is somebody who's in their head. I mean, they are so in their head. Yeah, they're looking at all the possibilities. And there's the dreamer, how this could play out. So they, they are someone who plans, prepares ahead. They look ahead. They look at all the possibilities of how this could play out. Yeah, you may have other options, but you could also be in that energy. See, it's an energy of reflecting on what happened, maybe how it played out. Who rejected who? Yeah, but I feel just a lot of being emotionally drained, feeling tired, just getting bored of the whole situation. Because it has to do with action. See? So getting bored, feeling stuck. So yeah, there it is. Ending a cycle, getting off the that emotional, the drama rama roller coaster. Mm-hmm. See, this is what happens. Nobody got what they wanted here. And it has to do with communication issues, secrecy. Fear of mind games, manipulation. But yet we've got two people manifesting each other. So, yeah. Some of you definitely, I feel you've released this. You're looking elsewhere. And I do feel it's possible. But you need to have a proper community a relationship. You need to release the energy, this negativity. Often when you get a person who communicates this way, they're just dropping little hints. Hoping you'll indulge them. That you will be the one to, you know, break the ice, get things going. But I don't think you're going to budge or give in. Because I do feel like it has to do with change. Uh, I see, you you know, this energy of moving on, ending this. And it could be something, like I say, on and off. Just this rejection, thanks, but no thanks. So, yeah. But I feel for those of you who are, you know, uh, waiting for this person to reciprocate you're now looking out there but i also feel this person too looking you know they're kind of in a hurry um they are looking to um you know maybe too late too little too late and that's how i kind of feel for some of you here so like i say uh, communication is key yeah see leaving this behind to see the reflection i think both of you are to be honest i gotta close the door I made the mistake as usual of her calling me and me bringing her her favorite treat. And then, of course, now it's like, give me more. So I'm going to go back up here to this Knight of Swords. Yeah, see, taming the beast. See, this is someone who needs to tame that beast. They need to stop changing their mind because it's kind of wishy-washy. Someone who can't make up their mind. So... So it's an energy of, you know, looking on the past with kindness, compassion, you see, but taming that beast. I also feel for yourself not rushing into anything too. See, it's an energy of looking before you leap, playing it safe. So this is what's happening. We got both people playing it safe, but no one's getting what they want. 
But yeah, like I say, that reflection, looking up over that shoulder. I feel like you both want this. I do. I feel like you do. Some of you anyway, but others of you, it is too late. Like I say, you're, you're tired of the breadcrumbs, the chaos, conflict, the drama, you know, it's draining. So, but I feel this person's in that energy too, to be honest. But the thing is, is, you know, they could be the one causing the drama or maybe they feel that way about you. But they say communication, sharing your innermost self, sharing your fears, the things you're afraid of, talking about it. You know, it doesn't mean you have to tell somebody every little secret, but you, you know, like, <laughs> you know, I'm one of those people that believes, and you can take this however it resonates, like, you don't have to, when you connect with someone at first, you don't have to tell them everything about yourself, as long as you're honest about that present time, your feelings, your emotions, but you know, it's about, I think, sharing your um, innermost fears more than anything with this energy, you know. I mean, there's a time and a place for everything. So I say, I mean, I'm, I'm seeing this rushing energy. See, it's an energy of releasing this, leaving it behind. It doesn't serve. You may feel the situation doesn't serve you. You know, this person doesn't value, you know, it has to do with self-respect. So there is something to do with respect. But I, I feel there's something that you're both feeling that's very mutual here. Like, I feel like you don't really want all this drama you know, the chaos, the conflict, you're not interested in competing. So yeah, see, some of you have a choice. You're going down a new path here. But I really feel it has to do with somebody being vulnerable. Now, it could be yourself. Um, in fact, I actually feel it's both of you. But yeah, being vulnerable, see, trying something different, being more open emotionally, sharing their feelings more than anything. I mean, it's a good start, right? But it's about taking the risk. See, releasing all this energy. Someone, I mean, it could be someone feeling like a fool. Uh, maybe both of you, but um, like I say, it, 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 it feels risky. You see, it feels risky. See, both people playing it safe. Yeah, but it's about being vulnerable, taking things to the next level, trying something different. But again, it's an energy of releasing the trust, feeling something is off. You see? Feeling something is off, but it's about doing things the right way. So I feel you're actually two people who are very much the same, just a little different. Maybe how you process things. Um, but because I, I see this energy here of this person very, you know, this is sometimes a person who they focus a lot on work, their money. They like to look and plan ahead. So, you know, I do see they want to start something new or they're looking to see if you have. And that's what I feel. But it's that high vibrational energy. It's about being happy, all this happiness and joy when you let go of all this. Because it's it's not serving either one of you. I mean, the star is here twice. So, yeah. And I do feel it's about being vulnerable, trying something different. Now, some of you, if you have a type, okay, if you have a type, uh, maybe it's time to try a different type of person because sometimes you, you know, you keep attracting the same kind of person. You have to look, okay? Sometimes people who are very negative are attracted to people who are very high vibrational, very positive, always see the bright side, you see? But the problem is, is what they bring in is that negativity. So, yeah, and I've seen two cards flipped out. There it is. Yeah, see, it's an energy of lack, loneliness, negativity, a self-fulfilling prophecy where it turns out exactly the same. See, it doesn't serve. Now, it could be fear about money, you know, because um, I do see somebody have that energy here, but I really feel it's just an energy of, you know, I don't know what it is. I, I, I feel, I mean, it's likely different. I can see it's likely different for everyone. It could be lack of money, fear of being left out in the cold, you know? Yeah, so, but yeah, you might feel there is something off at some point, but it's about trying something different, see? Planning, preparing for success, hoping for the best. That's what it is. It's hoping for the best, going down this path, victory, you see, that's what it is. It's about leaving it behind. See, something wasn't a victory. They didn't get what they wanted. And I don't think either one of you really got what you wanted here. You know, but if you are finding that you're stuck and single, you may be holding on to something yourself. Where you have this 
same kind of thing happening over and over again you know yeah but there it is see victory success it's about love forming a bond it's about two people who build each other up not reject each other tearing each other down being critical judgmental you see that blocking negative yeah see it's an energy of someone letting their guard down i'll tell you it's tearing down those walls is what i'm seeing i actually feel you know like i say it's an energy of kind of reflecting how it all played out and kind of going within a little bit here and looking at it i, I feel like it's two people who want the same thing now some of you i see gemini uh, very strong gemini here uh, cancer see if, if it is a cancer it is sometimes a person who um, holds things inside they protect their heart they're cautious but something happened this person maybe they got angry with that five of wands um you know yeah it's a maybe the fear of competition too or just feeling frustrated but like i say if somebody keeps their feelings to themselves they have nobody to blame you have to you have to share that so yeah so i feel it's just frustration a lot of it frustration in action being stuck it's time to take action to go after what you want and that's what it really is just pushing through fear see two people coming together partnering up looking out for each other's best interest see both people feel the other person has negative energy they don't have their best interest at heart but to be honest here i feel i mean this person could but you know I mean, it could be yourself, Scorpio, as a masculine here as well. So that's why I feel it's uh, some similar energies here, both of you with that, um, the fool energy. So it is, yeah, someone who shows somebody like them being generous. See, it's being more generous with feelings, emotions, time, energy, giving little gifts to show someone. See, trying something different, giving little gifts, doing nice things. It's also an energy of a helping hand. See, somebody helping out here. So uh, to be honest, whoever this is, I feel like you're manifesting each other. And they really could be anybody. I mean, I see Sag, uh, Leo, Aries, a lot of fire here. Uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So there's definitely something to do with money, finances, stability. But I do feel it's an energy of this person wanting to. Yeah, they want to ask you out. I see them romanticizing and fantasizing about the future, you see. But it's a person who's exploring their feelings. They're just exploring them. So if you have a choice possibly between two, you may have someone who's emotionally mature and available, and you may have someone who plays little games. Because I do see the possibility of two, definitely with this. But it could be just this person asking you out. But I actually feel it's someone here who manipulates a bit. They want to explore you know so i feel it has to do with clarity what is it this person wants to explore because i see that with the six of wands so pay attention to the red flags but i feel there's somebody here who's quite kind and compassionate i do yeah i really feel that you've got what if there's two there's definitely like i say it's probably trying a different kind of person uh, all together so yeah if there is a choice you may have someone here who's quite manipulative likes to play little games because I feel like you're not into that, okay? And I mean, it could be for both people, but I do think, like I say, somebody just exploring this connection, you know, seeing what's happened, but it's about coming in on the, with the right energy, hoping for the best, not, you know, thinking the worst. You don't start a relationship with somebody thinking the worst. <laughs> and it could be this person's energy, you know, or yourself because of something that happens. So it's about taming the beast. Everybody has that beast. Every single sign has something that they have to, to work on. <laughs> but this is an energy of maturity. See, when somebody becomes mature, they tame the beast. They're in control of their passions, their emotions. You see, they come in right. So definitely an energy of possible dating and courting because if you have someone who wants to keep you a secret they're always manipulating you know and they want if you know it's an energy of not being anybody's little secret so um but i also see someone who could be a secret admirer too someone around you so i do see that king of cups i do feel there's an energy of two here now especially with this energy uh, so 
and the sun because the sun is here twice so don't fail to recognize a magical opportunity by uh, rejecting someone maybe because of something someone else did but it's an energy of being a little more vulnerable take care and we'll see you soon